What is up? Turtle here coming at you at a windy Friday. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys can hear, but there's like the wind is howling in the background. All right, today we have finally have the team tag team powers collection yeah we're like a week late but uh we'll get into why that is in a little bit uh so today we're actually going to be we do have the espion deoxys one for the jumbo card but we're actually opening the umbreon dark rye uh the difference is only the jumbo card but let's take a look at the back so we got all these promos that we see on the front one interesting about this product is that there are three more promos that are you can't see that is a leafion glacian and regigigas pretty cool and then eight packs so we're gonna do a, obviously do an opening. We'll open the other one in our next video and give a kind of review of whether we think this is a good buy. Kind of like look at the front. Let's take a look at the pack selection. So there's eight packs. So I think I'll be comparing this to, let's say two of those typical $20 uh, four pack things featuring a promo. And look, look at the pack selection, it's about the same where I kind of see these as the two sword and shield and two cosmic clips as all right those are packs that are still in rotation yes lost thunder and celestial storm are technically still standard but given that all the tournaments have been canceled uh, except for like online tournaments you know they don't really count anymore unfortunately so but that's the typical um, you know that's actually it's a little bit less than typical but these are kind of half count but then we take a look at the problems obviously we get a lot more so again comparing it to two twenty dollar packs is it uh worth the msrp is 50 so is the seven promos worth the extra ten dollars um i do think the promos are cool we have very two alternate arts of umbrian dark right SBN deoxys another I'm, I'm not sure how many of these evs exist my favorite one is still the derp one and then a not that impressive car casa hey it's a turtle but it's not even like a full art uh then we'll take a look at the other promos all right, so before we open the box, my gut says, you know what, this is a pretty cool product. If you like to get your, you are a collector, you like to collect the different promos by opening product, I would say this is a nice thing to get. Definitely one of, um, do, do you need both? Probably not. The only difference is this jumbo card. And in my opinion, jumbo cards are cool for like an hour. And then you just add them to your big pile of jumbo cards that you don't do anything with. So. I think it's cool to get one of. If you haven't gotten one of these, you can still purchase them on Game Nerds. I'll put a link down below, and you can get it for basically 25% off. You can get both of them for $76. Uh, so it's not exactly 25% off, but it works out pretty nicely because it does qualify you for free shipping. Uh, because if it was like $74.99, you would need to buy one more thing, annoyingly. But we work around that. So that's what my initial review of this product says we'll see how we do on polls and we're going to give a review of the box that we open all right as always guys hope everyone is staying safe staying healthy uh you know, practice that social distancing as boring as it may be anyone that is kind of still has to go out there uh whether they're essential or for whatever reason huge out to you and uh yeah definitely please be careful one looking in the medical industry on the front lines. Best wishes to you. All right, why is this thing not opening? What the? All right, there we go. Let's take a look how the promos are packed. Let's get this code card out of here. We did our opening the Umbreon one because uh, actually I think our good buddy Nask on Twitch does already have it. I think I've seen him use it in his dark box deck. Actually, Nask, aka Nicovol, aka Wall Purges. And uh, okay, so there's no big tabs, but I would say that these. Actually, no, there are tabs, but they're not too bad. Oh, these aren't even promo. Or these, these two aren't even hollow, which is kind of disappointing. Alright, so we are able to get these out relatively unharmed. But it, I do prefer like those plunger things where once you remove it, the extra piece of plastic, then it kind of just falls right out. All right. So put these off to the side. We got our jumbo card. And uh, I do think they could have been a little bit more generous as far as their promos. When you think about it, as far as these, a lot of these, all, all these alternate arts were featured in like the Japanese set tag all stars. And so they're finally starting to release some of them. The rest of them will be released in a upcoming kind of like hidden fates kind of set. And 
while these definitely are pretty cool I think they could have been a little bit better Caracasa we do have a turtle but it's uh, not that strong and here is our other two Regigigas is a foil alright so seven promos again so when it comes to kind of like making up that price difference between 40 and 50 dollars the promos are cool so I do think it's worth it but you don't need more than one and obviously if you just pick up the mark the promos on a secondary market it would be even cheaper all right let's get into our first pack going in chronological order starting with evolutions uh, three should do it all right so if you've been following our twitch and youtube streams uh, we have been talking about a up there's a upcoming actually starts this weekend where there is some online tournaments hosted by limitless ccg i'll put a link in the description and if you are kind of going let us know that you're going to participate and let's know how you do it's pretty awesome that you know during this time when there's no events that the folks at limitless are going to host their own take it upon themselves to make sure that we can still play pokemon in a safe fashion and they have some sweet prizes as well I think a uh, num number of the invitations just have kind of like cash prizes although I think it's what like $200 for first place and I think the third qualifier is actually a promo a Mimikyu Scream promo I believe those go for over $150 on eBay and then if you do get a graded which I believe it comes with some kind of grading voucher if it does come back with a perfect grade, those things are very expensive. So if you feel confident about your PTCGO playing skills, definitely check it out. And we do have a Latios Prism. Okay, and then a Reggie Gigas. Guess we can put this, we'll put this over here. Alright, about uh, getting close to halfway through. Also, there's some cool stuff we can that can be found in here. All right, mixed herbs. Combi Marini, Electivire, which I guess is a rare. And okay, we did get a ultra rare Verizian. Take it. And all right, on to the cards that will actually be in standard rotation. I think um, there's some cool trainers we wouldn't mind picking up here, some full, cool full art supporters. ADP is still a super good card. Now right, we got Delmise, Amulet, Helioptile, Oop. Fishing Rod, uh, just a Swana. Alright, guys, two or three packs are remaining. So far, the pulls have been unimpressive. Haven't uh, completely whiffed, but nothing to get too excited about. Tangela, Eevee, Timpole, a Raichu, okay, with the nuzzle, and then an Alolan Sand Slash. All right, it's coming down to Sword and Shield. What? Oh, wait, this is just reflecting a little bit different, weirdly. So, Sword and Shield, we are very good at opening Sword and Shield packs. Had had a lot of success. The one we want the most now is that golden quick ball. Yeah, definitely Zacian has plummeted by no surprise when all the events are canceled. So there's not much demand for cards to compete with. Tackle, tap on the effect of the Zacian tins and Zamazenta. All right, make do. The Zacian and Zamazenta tins coming out in, later in May. Mid May. All right, guys. Last pack. Let's get let's get a textured card, full art or better, to make this a good opening. Here we go. Last pack. Can we get some last pack? Imagine we'll put that off to the side. Good card. Chincho, Slizzipede, Zigzagoon, Mana, a Skarupi, and then a oh nice. All right, that is a awesome. Uh, full art supporter and I do prefer the full art version versus the rainbow if I were to create a deck and I had both of them 
I would just use this. The rainbow is cool, it is max rarity, but it's a little harder to look at in my opinion. So, all right, uh, based on that hit, that last pack alone, I am very happy with this opening and uh, I'll consider this a good box. Um, but yeah, so just to sum up, I think it's a pretty good product if you do enjoy opening to get your collection, collect your promos. I would definitely suggest you pick up at least one if you buy it on Game Nerds, you can get it for about 25% off, get free shipping. But um, yeah, successful opening. We'll open up the Espeon 1 next in our next video. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Hope everyone has a good weekend. Stay healthy, stay safe, everyone. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.